I've always I've always been in love with this city. I've always been in love with, with Memphis and just the, the, the bricks, the, 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 the grime, to be honest with you, which I find actually quite beautiful. My name is Craig Brewer. I'm 31 years old. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee. My whole family's from here and they still live here and I would spend my summers here growing up. I started uh, writing plays actually out in California, but I thought that it would be better to make a movie in Memphis. In California, it's like everybody expects you to, uh, to be making a movie. Um, you know, you can stand outside a supermarket and just randomly go, what's your movie about? And, you know, people will tell you. And so I came here and I made a movie called The Poor and Hungry. I shot it with uh, just a little video camera and around the city. And uh, I, th I think it was ultimately the, the best decision of my life. There's something magical about saying, I'm going to make an entire feature with one digital video camera with one boom microphone with a bunch of clamp lights and actors. So you ain't treating you right? and uh, just really going out and trying to tell a good story. And, uh, the next project that I'm working on is a movie called Hustle and Flow. This movie is about a bunch of nobodies trying to be somebodies. So even though we have name actors and a you know, studio behind it, we're still making it uh, a lot like I made my first movie. I'd like to uh, work with bigger projects that don't necessarily have to take place in, in Memphis, uh, you know, things with, uh, with more of a studio um, model. But really what I, I really love to do is, is make movies like I've been making them. My own small personal films that I have complete control over. Uh, the one thing that I really love about Memphis is that uh, all the artists that live here, uh, they seem to, uh, to be able to exist uh, w without a tremendous amount of work. <laughs> there really isn't a shame of having no money, whereas usually in major metropolitan cities, um, you don't want to mention that you're, you know, working at a bookstore over here or that you're a waitress here. You, you tend to uh, gloss over that and immediately get to what you want to be. Here, everybody knows that everyone else is, is, is hustling at other jobs and there is a much more, I feel a much more sense of community and, and nobility uh, in, in trying to, uh, to make ends meet while you're trying to do your, your art form. And so ultimately that's, that's what led to the success of that movie, I think, was just the authenticity of the city itself. Right now, it's funny, every time I go out to Hollywood, my agent always tells me that everybody that I met with said that I was exotic because I, because I chose to live in Memphis. And I just never really thought of myself as an exotic person, you know. Uh, exotic is usually reserved for, uh, you know, flamenco dancers or something like that. But because I choose not to live in LA, because I choose to live where I love, which is here, uh, suddenly people uh, raise an eyebrow and at the same time they're very, uh, they, they covet that. They, they, they would like to live somewhere special and, uh, and, and, and be able to work and do what they want to do.